In this video, we'll be going over the Ezion safety vest installation and use, and the Betsy safety vest installation and use. Ezion cams are all black and can have the parachute logo on them. Ezion vests have the parachute logo sewn into them and come in maroon and blue. First thing you want to do is inspect your cam webbing, hooks, and buckles for any damage. Locate the FM VSS label with the manufacture date on the back of the cam. The Ezion cam is good for six years from the date of manufacture. To install the cam, unlock and raise the seat bottom. Lay the cam strap across the back of the seat with the hooks at the top facing the seat and around the seat frame. Raise your bottom hooks and close the seat bottom. The cam should be straight with the bottom V above the seat bite and the hooks facing the seat. Buckle the cam around the back of the seat. Holding the top of the cam, pull and tighten the cam strap. The release button for the cam should be facing the back of the seat and there should be an indentation on the seat back at the top when properly tightened. Never tie or tuck the excess. The plastic cheaper should be used or it should hang freely. Inspect the safety vest for any damage. The FMVSS label with the manufacture date is sewn on the inside of the vest. The vest is good for six years from the date of manufacture. To get the safety vest ready for the students, Undo the locking thread at the shoulder height adjustments. Unclip the crotch strap and unzip the safety vest. Students under 25 pounds must wear a crotch strap. If the vest has a pre-sewn in crotch strap, it must be used. With the front of the safety vest facing you, have the student reach through the safety vest. Zip the safety vest up on the appropriate zipper so that the vest is snug around the student. Reach through and grab the crotch strap. Fasten the crotch strap to the safety vest. And tighten the crotch strap by pulling The top strap should come across the bottom of the student's sternum. Walk the student to their seat and have them sit down. Check the height of the safety vest where it'll be hooked to the cams. If it is too high on the student, it must be adjusted. Have the student stand up. Unthread the shoulder adjustment strap from the keeper. 
Adjust the shoulder strap where it needs to be. Weave the shoulder harness into the keeper, back out of the keeper, and into the keeper again to lock into place. It must go through all three times. Repeat this process on the second side. Have the student sit back in the seat. Double check the safety vest for where it will ride when it's hooked into the can. Hook the safety vest to the can. Have the student lean forward, starting with the outside bottom hook. Connect it to the D-ring on the bottom of the vest. Have the student sit back, hook the top of the vest to the right and left cam straps. Hook the bottom right cam strap to the D-ring. The safety vest should be hooked at all four points to the cam. Remember never to mix the equipment. Easy On Vest can only be used with Easy On Camps and Betsy Vest can only be used with Betsy Camps. All safety vest and cams are numbered. The safety vest should be kept with its cam. In an emergency evacuation, cut the cam strap below the buckle and walk the student off the bus. The student never comes out of the safety vest. Let's see how that really works. To release the student, unhook the safety vest from the cam at all four points. Have the student stand up. Unzip the safety vest and unhook the crotch strap. The safety vest stays on the bus unless your supervisor has authorized it to go with the student. Betsy safety vest and cams are color coded. Extra large is navy blue. Large is gray. Medium is maroon. Small is tan.
This model of the Betsy Safety Vest has a sewn-in crotch strap. If a sewn-in crotch strap is present, it must be used. This model of the Betsy Safety Vest has a detachable crotch strap. If the student is under 25 pounds, they must have a crotch strap. If the Betsy Safety Vest has only one zipper, an extension can be used. It must be the same color as the vest. The FMVSS label and manufacture date are sewn to the inside of the extension. The extensions are good for six years from the date of manufacture. For manufacturer's instructions, the vest cannot be extended more than 6 inches. To use the extension, zip to one side of the vest, have the student get in, and then zip the other side. Remember that the safety vest should be snug around the student. Inspect the safety vest and cam for damage. Find the FMVSS label and manufacture date sewn to the back of the cam and the inside of the safety vest. The safety vest and cams are good for six years from the date of manufacture. To install the Betsy cam, lay the cam across the back of the seat. Unlock and raise the seat bottom. Place the cam strap through the seat, around the seat frame, ensuring that it is straight. Close and lock the bottom of the seat. The release button for the buckle should be facing the back of the seat. Buckle the cam around the seat back. While holding the top of the cam strap, pull down on the excess webbing until the cam is tight to the seat. There should be an indentation on the top. Stow the excess webbing in the plastic keeper by taking it down through it twice. If the plastic keeper is missing, let the excess webbing hang freely. Never tie or tuck the excess webbing. When properly installed, the hooks of the Betsy cam should be facing up and the bottom V should be at the seat pipe. To get the safety vest ready for the student, unzip it and unfasten the crotch strap. Holding the safety vest with the Betsy emblem facing you, have the student reach through the arm slots. Zip the safety vest up on the appropriate zipper so that the safety vest is snug on the student. Reach through and grab the crotch strap. Clip the crotch strap to the safety vest and pull to tighten. The top strap of the safety vest should be at the bottom of the student's sternum. Walk the student to their seat. Have them sit down. Check where the safety vest will be on the student when it is hooked to the cam. The top strap of the safety vest should be at approximately the student's lower sternum. Adjust the safety vest if you need to. To hook the safety vest to the cam, have the student lean forward. Hook the bottom outside D-ring first, then the top outside and inside D-ring, and the bottom inside D-ring last. Make sure the top of the safety vest remains at the proper level.
To release the student, undo the top D-rings from the safety vest. Undo the bottom D-rings from the safety vest. And have the student stand up. Unzip the safety vest and release the crotch strap.